before you get into this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Back to paper script. Okay, guys, so the unthinkable's happened. I broke my axe in the axe handle. Now, I could probably drop down like this, but I'm not going to get any work done, okay? I need to replace or repair this axe handle. And I think using a little Gorilla Tape and maybe some Gorilla Glue, we could do just that. I was testing to see if it split or if it broke like this. Could I fix it in the field or would I have to go and rehang it? Uh, you know, would this be the end of my camp or could I get this just to last a little bit longer until I got to a place where I could actually repair it safely? Now, this isn't going to be like my typical reviews where I'm going to be reviewing just one product and how it works. I'll actually be reviewing a thread and see how it works together. The main part of this uh, group is going to be this uh, Gorilla Crystal Clear Tape fixes patches and seals. Uh, this is uh, really good. I see a lot of survivalists uh, use this when uh, they're working with it. And uh, to help this out, what we're also going to be using is uh, Gorilla Glue. Uh, this is that stuff I used in the uh, fire starting material. Um, it bonds to wood, and this is wood. I'll be following the instructions on the back of the bottle. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to glue uh, the handle back to itself I'm gonna make sure it sets and then I'm going to tape it I'm gonna tape I'm gonna try to tape about two inches above uh, the, the the fracture here and about two inches below it uh, sort of like what I'm selling and then if I had some if you don't have some it'll still work out but if you have some you could also add a little bit of this black tape here something to grip to because the clear tapes gonna be too slick in my opinion and I'm afraid I'd lose my axe so I'm going to get a time lapse set up and I'll start putting this stuff together and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I took uh, the Gorilla Glue and rubbed it down the handles. I, you wet the handle first, you wet the area first. I spread it on thin, used a stick to spread it around, placed it on top and made sure it was pretty, uh, you know, locked in to where, it was, where the brake was originally. And um, then I wrapped three spaces with the clear tape to sort of clamp it together, hold it together. Then I set it onto my uh, chair that I'll have to feature in another video and put uh, the back of the chair on top of it with a rock as a weight. I could also add my backpack here or you, you can find out where you I got I got <laughs> I got a big branch here I could lay there uh, whatever I want to just to get enough weight so that it will bond. Two hours we'll come back and check it and we'll work on a little bit more. Okay guys so it is raining today um, but I'm still gonna try to get this done. I just wanted to show you what we got here um, the tape is still on here that I used to sort of clamp it together uh, but you see some of the uh, wood glue came out and that's what I'm looking for that means that it got you know squished really tight together and it's and it spread out um, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take the rest of my tape I'm gonna go about two inches above where the uh, break is and I'm just gonna continuously wrap it all the way down to about two inches past it and I'm uh, gonna put that on a time lapse uh, another thing is I'm just in one of my plow point tarps. I threw it up because it was raining and I'd have to get this video out and I could do it inside, but that's not how bushcrafters do it. Well, that's at least not how better bushcrafters than I. I would be inside, but anywho, let's get to the time lapse. Okay, so I have it all wrapped with tape I try to wrap it as tight as I can it's not perfect but nothing I do is perfect uh, the next thing I'm I'm done I could use this but I'm a little worried about the tape being too slick so I'm gonna go to another Gorilla product my mini uh, uh, cargo tape roll and I'm just gonna add this to it to give me a little friction something to hold on to and I'm just going to uh, Put it on the bottom sides. There's actually a grid here 
Uh, I guess it's someplace for where your head's supposed to go. I'm probably just gonna cover that in the tape so that gives me something to hold on to. This ain't gonna be take long, and you can also skip this step. It's up to you. I'll be right back and we'll see how this thing works. Now, I really don't want to beat up on my tree anymore, but just to show you guys that this is still working strong, and to show you it's still the same axe. There's the break in the glue. Well guys, I just want to give you everybody a special thanks for joining me on this. Um, cargo tape is very important to me, and I think you need the right brand, so I want to give a very special thank you to Gorilla uh, Cargo Tape. Uh, they didn't sponsor me, they didn't ask me to do this, nothing of the sort, but they make a fantastic product, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even uh, think this is possible, I'll be honest with you. Um, next week, we'll be doing uh, another C. It'll be uh, on our last one. It'll be uh, cotton, but if you don't want to miss that, and make sure you don't miss it, you need to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Backpack Bushcraft. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Gmail at Backpack Bushcraft. You can also check out the website where I post contents on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 2 p.m. EST. That website is www.backpackbushcraft.com. And until next time, guys, keep those fires burning. Put a log off for me.